Hey there, photo bestie. My name is Angelica, your photography coach, and I teach how to have a profitable photography business in a brand that stands out. And today we are going to talk about the three tips for hosting a profitable mini sessions. So if you are planning mini sessions this season, this video is for you. Stay tuned. So before we dive in on how to make more moolah from your mini sessions, let's explain what a mini session is. So a mini session is typically a condensed version of your full photography experience. Mini sessions are typically like 15 to 20 minutes and usually on a specific date and time. So this is something that you control and you kind of want to pull your audience to see what works best as far as dates and times are concerned. You want to pick something that you want to do as a creative and that also aligns with your potential clients that would book. I have a free gift for you. If you are struggling to sell out of your mini sessions, I've created a guide with three tips and actionable steps that you can make to have sold out mini sessions. You can find that free guide in the description below. So when you're thinking about mini sessions, people tend to think, whoa, they're super stressful, they're overwhelming, and I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be any of that and it can be super, super profitable, my friend. Mini sessions can be as much as you want it to be. It really wants to be, like you wanna make sure you set a goal for yourself. So if you wanna make $5,000 from your mini sessions or $10,000, both of those goals are super attainable. And I'm here to tell you, as someone that hosts mini sessions, I make over five figures in mini sessions every single time. And there is no surprise at how I did it. I spent the last like mm, five to six years figuring out and developing a formula and format and strategy on how to launch mini sessions. If you're looking for a A to C roadmap on how to launch and profit, and scale your mini sessions, this course is for you. It is self-paced and I'll leave that information in the description below. So let's talk about it. I can give you tips all day long on all the things that mini sessions encompass, but I wanna give you the three most impactful tips on how to host profitable mini sessions. So my tip number one is to limit your spots. You don't want this to be a free for all and have people just signing up whenever they want, however they want. You want to make sure you limit that. You want to limit the spaces. Um, I encourage my photographers to host anywhere between 10 to 15 clients in one day. Um, and make sure you have a buffer in there in between because if one late client comes, that will throw off your entire day. So 10 to 15 clients is ideal per day for sessions. And the goal with having limited spots for your mini sessions is that you want your clients to be on their edge of their seats like, I cannot wait, I cannot wait, I cannot wait till they launch their mini sessions. That's how you want them to feel. And I always, always, always encourage my photographers to give their past clients first dibs. They already invested in you once and if they enjoy their experience with you, they are really, really gonna just be the number one person to sign up for your mini sessions. For me, this past season, I launched my mini sessions and within five minutes of me launching, I had 10, or I think it was 11, 11 people sign up, something crazy. I was like, holy shit, I was like literally within two minutes I had a booking, another minute I had a booking, another minute I had a booking, I was like, oh, 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 oh my God, it's happening. So let me tell you, it is definitely possible, my friend, to sell out within 24 to 48 hours. It's happened to me almost every single time. And another thing you wanna think about when limiting your spots, it creates a sense of urgency. So that is super important when you're selling something so unique like a mini session. Tip number two, and this one is something that I see so, so common in the photography industry is pricing your mini sessions to make sense to profit. So your mini session price should be just a little bit less than your regular session fee. It shouldn't be more than 50% off your regular session because just because it's a mini session doesn't mean it's less work. 
Yes, my friend, you still have to edit, you still have to set up, you still have to plan, you still have to coordinate, you still have to get the schedules, signups, the, co the copy for the landing page, the landing page, all the things still have to happen for a successful mini session to happen. So just because it's a shorter session doesn't mean it should be lesser value. So consider that when you're thinking about pricings for your mini sessions. You also want to consider your expenses. So if you have a high expense, if you're renting a studio, or like a vehicle or any props or anything like that be sure to account for that at for like your expenses so you want to make sure you have a goal in mind so if your goal is to make five thousand dollars from your mini sessions you want to work backwards you get that five thousand dollars minus your expenses and then from there figure out if you're gonna host you know 10 families 12 families 15 families and divide that up so you can at least make your minimum a good rule of thumb for pricing your mini sessions should be anywhere between $200 and $400. That is kind of the sweet spot there. If you're charging less than $200, it sometimes can kind of give a red flag to people that you may be newer to the industry, you're a newbie to photography, or you have to think about it too. If you're charging $75 for a mini session, how much money is that actually gonna be profitable for you after you calculate for your time? your energy, the props, if you have any, and your 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 sanity. <laughs> to be completely honest, because if you know anything about mini sessions, there's still a lot of work, my friend. So make sure you're not selling yourself short when pricing for your mini sessions. Tip number three, and this is a huge one I see across the board for photographers, your session fee should include a limited amount of digitals. Do not be a gallery giver, my friend. You are capping your income and leaving money on the table. And let me explain. So I want you to just picture this. Put yourself in the shoes of your client. Your client is taking the time to get dressed up, get outfits, maybe getting glammed up with makeup, rallying up their family or partner, pets, and they're putting a lot of energy and effort into this 15 to 20 minute session. And although it's a shorter session, think about when was the last time they probably took professional photos? Probably a long time. So I encourage my photographers to deliver anywhere between 20 to 30 images per session so your client has a variety to choose from. And if you limit your digitals, you will allow for an opportunity for upsell. You can either charge for additional digitals or the entire gallery. I can tell you at least 50% of my clients buy their entire gallery because this is the only time during the year that they get updated family photos or updated portraits of themselves. So just kind of keep that in mind. Limit your digital so that way you can make more money on the back end after the session itself. So I want to do a little bit of math with you to show you what my mini sessions look like for me every season. So I typically do two days of mini sessions and on each day I host 10 families. So that is 20 families at 350 per family. So that's $7,000. And then about 50% or more of my families buy their entire gallery and my entire gallery price is 495. So 495 times 10, which brings us to 49.50. So 49.50 plus 7,000, that is $11,900, my friend. That is huge. And I charge a higher price for my mini sessions because I practice IPS, which is in-person sales. So typically my session fees don't include any digitals. So this is like almost like a given for my clients. Like you get digitals with your mini sessions, everybody's running up and wanting to sign up. So think about how you run your business and make it make sense for how you run your, family, your regular sessions compared to mini sessions. I want to encourage you to sit down before you launch your next round of mini sessions and crunch those numbers. You want to calculate how much your expenses are going to be. And after you do that, you want to see how much are you going to price your minis for? How many digitals are you going to give for each session? And how many spots are you going to offer to make sure you meet that goal? So make sure you crunch those numbers the next time you're thinking about hosting a mini session before you launch it. 
The money is out there, my friend, ready for you to grab. So if you are looking for more videos like this, I am here giving tips every single week and stay tuned for next week's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.